Good day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. It's a bit more of a beautiful day today than the last few days. Anyway, let's start our shelling adventure off with this rather nice limpet here. Yeah, he's pretty, definitely like him. And I also spotted right there, yeah, it's a pheasant shell. It's actually a really, really big pheasant shell too. Definitely like the big ones. Well, I was just thinking as I walked down to the beach that the, uh, the waves are kind of colossal today. It looks like they've kicked up quite a big moon snail for me. God, I hope that's whole. That looks like massive. <gasps> Whoa, it's mostly whole. Oh my goodness, for sure that's got to be my biggest moon snail ever. Oh my, looks like it's missing just a bit of the lip going around there. Oh wow, that's a mega dude. I'm still deciding whether or not I want to keep uh, purple barnacles or something in my collection. Let me know if you would keep purple barnacles. Oh sorry, am I saying purple? I meant pink. There's pink acorn barnacles and purple acorn barnacles. This one's a pink one obviously. <laughs> that looks cool, like it looks shiny. Is it whole? Is it? Oh it is whole! Oh my goodness, yep! Oh wow, that's a really cool one. It's a really pale colored moon snail. I don't think it's a white moon snail or what I would call a white one. It's just a very pale regular moon snail. My goodness, I didn't see that on my first walkthrough. Wow, that is a very pretty piece of purple lace coral. Yeah, that is excellent. Oh, check out that one. He's a big boy. He's a big boy for a cat calorie and also He's red instead of blue. I'm not sure if this is what happens when they get worn away. I dare say it is. But my goodness, he's just pink and red and looks very, very interesting. Whoa, what? That one's just sitting there. Is it, I think, it, I think its tip might be broken, but oh my goodness, I never find these. Yep, there we go. It's a fig shell with a big hole in the top, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, that's still really, really cool. Oh, finally some calorie teeth looking through almost half the beach now. Haven't found really much of anything. Oh my, it's a lovely little clandestine calorie. Not even on the rock line either. Awesome. Oh, he looks like a big blue calorie. Oh, stretch. Oh, stretch. There we go. Yep, he is a big blue calorie. Awesome. Well, once again, we've just hit low tide, but the tide isn't dropping that much and the, uh, the waves are kind of scary. So I'm falling back to what has quickly become one of my favorite things, checking the shell pile that's still here. I've collected a few uh, pheasant shells. Ooh, I dropped one. I dropped... <laughs> I'm collecting a few pheasant shells just to start me off. And I've just spotted, it's another piece of that random funky coral from last time. Also, I really like this stuff for some reason. It just, it's like such a juxtaposition. It looks like it should be spongy, but it's just hard instead. Right there, something I don't usually find all that often. Yeah, it's a fingernail clam. Very, very cool. Always love the patterns on these. They are extremely delicate. Gotta be careful with this one. I've just smushed all of these ones closer to me now. Let's see what we all can find. You'll have to tell me what I miss. Just gonna move it steadily across. There's an oyster there. There's a mussel, a bit of coral. Little graceful cowrie. Oh, I, I might take him. Eh, give me. Um, not sure what these things are. I think worms used to live in them. I will not be taking them. Of course, there are so many limpets. There is a bearded hoof shell right here. Another bearded hoof shell. These purple things here are sea urchin spines. These other purple things here are pieces of barnacles. These red things here are pieces of coral. Um, a lot of people like to collect them and put them in a jar. Um, I'm not going to do that though. I've already got quite a few of them at home. They went in my, uh, my pots to use instead of pebbles though. A very pretty conical moon snail. Yeah, that one's got like a nice pink tone all over it. Oh, that's a bit unusual. Yeah, it is hard. Oh, wow, it's another piece of coral. 
These ones are very, very delicate. I took a thinner version of this home the other day and only about half of it made it back, even though I wrapped it in tissue and put it in a pocket of my backpack. Anyway, that's still very, very nice. This one looks a bit thicker, so it should survive. I forget what these ones are called. I don't even know if you can like see it. It's a little mini that I sometimes find. They're very cool, extra, extra small, just a very interesting shape and color. They're pretty much all exactly like this one in color and size as well. Just extremely unusual shells. Oh, that one looks good. Oh my goodness, look at that fringed cowrie. He's got some very lovely markings on him. Oh wow, that is a nice rare find for me. Oh, that's a pretty brown flat moon snail. Yeah, he's got like a couple of growth cracks through him or something, but that just makes him look even more interesting. The common name for these ones is the Inces moon snail. But you could just call them a flat sand snail. That, that's also a bit easier too. Little cap-shaped false limpet for all the limpet lovers out there. It is a type of keyhole limpet, but it doesn't have a hole. So uh, maybe that's why they call it a false limpet. I've got no idea. Is it a bean or a glob? It is... It's a bean trivia. There we go. He doesn't have a smiley mouth, so he's just a regular bean. New spot, new shells, new sundial. There we go. Poor guy's got a hole all the way through him. And I literally looked up and saw another sundial. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He is a chunky boy. Oh, my goodness. This might be my biggest variegated sundial ever. Certainly is my thickest. He's a big one. Oh my god, definitely like him. Oh, that's rather large. Not the largest one I've ever found, but yeah, he's a big old keyhole limpet. This one definitely does have a hole going through the top of him. And follow that keyhole limpet up with another one. Not quite sure which one he is. I'm just going to guess. And my guess is going to be a turtle limpet. <laughs> no idea though. Oh, big guy. It's one of those, um, I mean, I've just been calling them Coro Moon Snails because I don't have a common name. He's definitely the biggest one I've ever found. Wow. Ooh, that one looks whole. Yeah, it is whole. I usually find them with, with holes in them. I don't find them intact usually. It's a very nice Australian angel wing. Oh, there's a couple of mini sand dollars here. Let's see how many we can pick up. Oh, I just lost whatever that one was. I think I dropped a bunch, but I got at least five in my hand. Six. I got six. Little Labralinata cowrie. The yellow tinted cowrie. Very nice. When they're good and fresh, they look green instead of yellow, but this one's worn away a bit, so he looks yellow. Oh, what's that one? What's this one? Is that a pheasant shell? Oh, my bucket, my bucket. <laughs> it looks way too big to be a pheasant shell. Or maybe it's like a different kind than the um, than the colourful ones. Goodness me, I definitely like that. There's a pretty zebra top shell right here. Usually they're yellow all the way around, but it's worn off to be a bit white right there. I think that makes it look super, super cool. Just um, just a little bit different than all the other ones I've picked up so far, I think. Oh, look at the little dude. Look at the little limpet dude. It is a keyhole limpet because he's got a hole through him. I usually only ever find them like white with like some brown flecks on the side. Look at this one, he's like super vibrant and black. Oh my, that's an adorable little guy. Oh hey, that bivalve kind of stood out to me right away. I thought it was one of those chevron bivalves that I like so much. But this one's got like really interesting textures on it and the pattern's just a bit different. Yep, that's cool. I don't think I've found one of those before. Oh my goodness, how did four hours of shell collectors not see that? Oh, sh oh, God. there it is, there it is. Oh, I almost lost it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, I almost lost the pretty big shell. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm not really sure what this one is. It doesn't look like a deer calorie because it's got no spots. And it doesn't really look like a cherry cowrie because it's got too many bands and it's like the wrong color. Oh my goodness, really, really like that one though. 
Well, I'm doing a few final look arounds on this side of the lighthouse because it's honestly getting a bit hot out here. And I think I just found my first snakehead for the day after all this. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is a good one. Yeah, he looks shiny. He feels shiny. Oh, I think he's going to be a very good one when he dries. That looks like a pretty good zebra shell right there. Let's bring him out. Oh, he is nice. Yep, there we go. He is empty. Yes. There we go. Very common here, but also very lovely. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. But of course, before we all go, let's talk about a favorite and let me know down in the comments which ones were your favorites as well. We started off pretty good today, found probably the biggest moon snail I've ever seen. That is just, I mean, not ever seen, but ever found. Oh my goodness, he is lovely. Can't believe I found a paper fig. Uh, yes, he was missing the tip, but he still looks nice like that anyway. I found a lot of really great minis uh, searching the rack line in the shell piles. Found a lovely clandestine, a big, beautiful sundial. Hiding right in there is my little fringed cowrie, which I liked a lot. But my favorite of the day is going to be this one. Pretty much right at the end, he made my day. It was a fairly typical day until this one, actually. Oh my goodness, just really, really like this one. I thought he might have been a cherry, but looking at it now that he's dried a bit, is that like blue coloration in there? I'm not sure, so I think he might be... Uh, you know, I'm still not sure I was gonna say, oh yeah, he's probably a blue cowrie, but I mean, anyway, I look at it, he is just way too big and strange to be a blue cowrie. Anyway, this mystery guy is my favorite for the day. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.